Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We have a view from the Devil's Lake area. Thanks to our friends at the Home of Economy there and kind of soupy skies with some fog and reduced visibilities from time to time in the Devil's Lake Basin. Right now out at Hector, 25 on the thermometer, five mile per hour winds, but visibility is going to be a problem as we talked about in our early broadcast with regard to the forecast. Now we're seeing reduced visibility under a mile out in the Western Dakotas. So if your travels take you out that way, be aware. In our area, we do have some reduced visibilities in places, but it's not quite as bad yet. There are fog advisories across the region, the Sisseton Hills right now, and portions of our Devil's Lake Basin here into the overnight hours. So be advised, we have a problem with fog already, and a few areas could see that trend continuing. And it may spread into western Minnesota. We'll show you more on that in a minute. Right now, temperatures in the 20s for everyone across the board, with the exception of the heat wave going on in Roseau County. For the last couple of days, you've been the hot spot, and you continue to enjoy temperatures around 30 degrees. The mild air getting suppressed to the south and east. The cold air right here in the nation's midsection. And where these air masses are clashing, take a look at the satellite and radar. We have nonsense going on in the central plains with a good old-fashioned winter storm taking place from Omaha through parts of Iowa right now. And I don't know if we have our camera shot. Uh, let me know in my ear. Okay, so we've got snow flying from Des Moines to Omaha that is accumulating there. For us, we are impacted by this system, but only the cloud cover as the heavier snow for anyone traveling south on I-29 over the next 24 hours is going to be noticeable there. Take a look at your forecast as we go through the overnight hours. The dark colors you see on Hutch's map indicative of low clouds and fog. So we could see some of that here in our eastern counties and in the valley. We already have it going on in the Devil's Lake Basin. Start your Saturday morning with gray skies and some patchy fog. By the midday hour, we'll see only a few breaks in the clouds. And as we go through the afternoon, we'll call it peekaboo sunshine here and there. Temperatures do warm but they'll be similar to today's. We're talking 20s for most, and a few of us will get to 30 degrees. I do believe late in the day we'll have a chance at seeing just a little bit of drying in the atmosphere, but it's only going to be brief because if you look to the north and west by Saturday night, more clouds will be on the way with Sunday snow. More on that in a moment. Fargo, by the numbers, 20 to start, cloudy skies, north wind, but only 5 miles per hour to 10 miles per hour. We kiss 30 degrees with some peaks of sun here and there. And then maybe a little bit of clearing briefly into the late evening hours. So we take a look at your hometown forecast, 25 in Bemidji and Roseau to 30 here in the valley. All in all, it's going to be a cool day. Now let's update you with the very latest on the snow chances. Sunday morning, Devil's Lake Basin to Northern Valley, a chance of some light snow that continues. Maybe uh, extended periods of time in Lakes Country, so you could see a little more snow there, but all of us will see gusty wind as you saw the arrows. We're talking 25 to 35 miles per hour. Who has time for that? Maybe not this guy. Faye, thanks for sending your shot in there from the Thief River area. Now look at your planning forecast. Sunday flakes in the forecast in Fargo, minimal. Most areas well under an inch. Does look like our cold weather, though, will be pulled in by those gusty northwest winds next week. Seasonable weather, that means lows for most of us in the single digits, highs only. Andrea, in the 20s. All right, thank you, Hutch. Topping the list of videos that caught our attention today.